Um, so yeah, so I'll just, I'll dive right in, you know, having seen your VHS seg segment Storm Drain, I feel like Watcher felt so different in that, like, Storm Drain felt very frenetic, the camera was kind of moving all over the place, and in Watcher, you know, many of the shots are still, the viewer gets to kind of sit with what's in the frame and, you know, almost looking for the stalker. Uh, so what was it like going from one extreme to the other and, and directing this movie? Yeah, it was interesting. I, I really was one after the other. I shot VHS in Toronto and flew directly to Romania to do Watcher. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like they're, they're both uh, styles of horror that I really love. Um, so it didn't, I don't know, it, it sort of, it, it kind of felt natural in a way. Like I loved getting to do VHS and like just going balls to the wall crazy and doing this big creature and sort of incorporating like dark humor and campiness and gore. Um, and obviously because it's a found footage movie. Well, not obviously actually, Simon Barrett found a very clever way to do like, you know, more sort of long takes in found footage that I really appreciated. But in mine, yeah, because it's sort of the, the new story cameraman one it it's, feels a lot more frenetic. Um, but I also, you know, love like Polanski's apartment trilogy. Uh, and I love, you know, the other movies I think on Washer that I was referencing were like Perfect Blue and Lost in Translation, um, Seven. Uh, and for the most part, those are movies that really take their time. Um, and, you know, I also can really appreciate something where it is in a little bit more of a, a classic style and it's a slow burn and it's sort of about building a visual language and pacing it in a way that is tied to the character and tied to Julia. Um, and it is a little bit slower and more deliberate, but they're two different, very obviously extremely different modes of horror, but I, I really sort of love working in both of them. So it was kind of great. Um, yeah. Yeah. And as you said, I feel like with the location and stuff too, that really helped kind of sell the stillness and then the fish out of water aspect of Julia. And Micah, when I was just speaking with her, she said that originally the film was set in New York, but then you guys moved to Romania. And so now I'm wondering what was kind of behind that decision and, um, you know, how did you go about finding and, and setting this atmosphere? So I think if I'm being honest, the, it was a, a very financially motivated decision. Um, you know, we're a small movie. We didn't have a lot of budget. And then when the pandemic happened, obviously there's a lot of other costs that you need to, to you know, keep people safe, health and safety. Um, and it just wasn't really possible to do it uh, where we had initially thought in Toronto. So Romania made a lot of sense. And actually, like when I heard that's what we were doing creatively, I was really excited by it um, because I'd had the experience before of being abroad uh, in a place where I didn't really speak the language that well, not in Romania, but in, in Europe and in Russia at one point. Um, and actually I know Micah also had had that experience um, living abroad and something that we really bonded on, I think in our initial call and she totally got it. Um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of setting that sort of style and atmosphere, the thing that's great is that Bucharest in a lot of ways does a lot of the work for us because it's such a beautiful city and such a unique looking city. So just choosing locations, I think that uh, felt, you know, both like beautiful, but also maybe to an, a sheltered American's eye could feel a little bit strange. Um, or because it has this kind of Soviet architecture, it could feel a little bit oppressive or brutalist. Um, you know, I think that really helped establishing the sort of like style of the movie, along with all the work that I did with the production designer and the cinematographer. Um, you know, Julia's apartment is a set build. Uh, so that is not an apartment that actually exists in Romania. They're all very, they're all much smaller and typically they don't really have very big windows, so. <laughs> Yeah, I was like looking at apartments online after this because that apartment was beautiful. So good to know. Um, but yeah, I think also what's so interesting about it too, as you said, it kind of pulls out thematically some of the underlying things that Watcher is dealing with. And I thought, um, I was really curious about uh, the relationship between you and Micah, because as a director, you know, you're asking this person to be so terrified and, you know, asking them to trust you. And so how did that kind of working relationship 
relationship build and how did you kind of bring out this uh, paranoid performance from her? You know, I wish I could say that it, it was my masterful directorial like brain that brought it out of Micah, but the honest truth is that Micah is just incredibly talented and she sort of brought it herself. Um, I'd like to think that, you know, because as we had a lot of conversations early on and we had a little bit of rehearsal and you know I, I definitely am a filmmaker who likes to to let actors in on visually and tonally what I want the movie to be so they can you know sort of tailor their performance to that um you know I, I think that that had a positive effect on 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 everything and all the actors and just knowing what kind of movie they were in um and, you know, I also would, would hope that I create an atmosphere on set that allows, you know, the performers to feel safe and, and try things. But the honest truth again is Micah just showed up and was great. Like, you know what I mean? He, she just, she brings so much um, and she's particularly good, I think, at communicating things like wordlessly. Um, and again, like, I just feel like most of the credit should really go to her for just being a very talented actor. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was a beautiful movie. I loved it. It scared me. So I really appreciate it. It was so nice to meet you.